Hello everyone. We will continue the topic of steady state error. Regarding steady state error, we will discuss some points here. So before that, in the last class, we discussed about the steady state. We will write the points. That is, error, steady state error E of S can be nothing but R of S by 1 plus G of S in the S domain. So we can write this steady state error value is like this that is limit s tends to 0 s into e of s so these are the formulas we will use these formulas okay we will write some points regarding the steady state error the first point is we, we, we should calculate steady state error is calculated it should be calculated it, it should be available only calculated only for closed loop stable system it is only it should be a closed loop system and it should be a stable system closed loop stable system if it is not closed loop system it is not possible and its system should be must and should be stable and the second point is they it, it is valid only for unity feedback system it should be the it, if it is not unity feedback system it is not possible it is valid only for unity feedback systems unity feedback system if it is not a unity feedback system then steady state error is not valid okay yes so if he is not given the unity feedback system then it will be converted into the unity feedback system if unity feedback if non if you if non unity feedback feedback is given if it is not unity feedback non unity feedback is given it must be converted into the it must be converted into unity feedback signal converted into unity feedback first so in the given data if he is not given he is not mentioned then you should convert into the unity feedback signal then it will be very use very useful so and when we are discussing about the unity steady state error we are concentrated on two points one is it depends on the system type and another one is the system type another one is the input depends on the system input so it depends on the two things so we will discuss each and every thing so here first first we will discuss different types of inputs by that how the steady state error depends on the these inputs so first we will discuss the types of inputs how many types of inputs available here first you know that the first input step input you know the step input and we know the other input is the ramp input this is the step and ramp the next input is the parabola we have three types of inputs right here generally step input you know that step input represents like this a into u of t is the signal and whenever step input is applied to some signal applied to some system the steady state error will be like this steady state error formula is like this that is a by 1 plus kp this is the formula here kp is the positional error constant it is named as the positional 
error constant yeah you know what is a here a is magnitude of the step input so a is the magnitude of step input magnitude of step input yes so kp what is the formula for this kp kp formula we can write like this that is limit s tends to 0 g of s is called as the kp limit s tends to 0 g of s okay the given signal given system g of s is nothing but system for the system you should apply the limit s tends to 0 then you will get the step input you will get the steady state error for the step input next ramp input ramp input will be like this a into t u of t and here steady state error formula for the ramp input is like this say magnitude a by k v press with kv here the kv is velocity error constant velocity error constant this kv value we can write like this limit s tends to 0 s into g of s multiplied by s same a is the again the magnitude this is only multiplied with t is there then we have a by kv is available and kv is here s is multiplied s is multiplied next next input is the parabola parabola generally the magnitude is like this a by 2 into t square u of t here whenever you are differentiating the ramp signal you will get this parabola then the steady state error for this parabola is steady state error equal this is a by k a k a is nothing but acceleration error constant acceleration error constant yes here k a value is like this limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s whenever we are input is t square the formula is like this and it is multiplied by this s square so depends on the type of the inputs we have different different formulas to find out the errors steady state errors okay first step input this is the formula steady state error formula in that kp value is this is the again different formula for ramp input we have steady state error is this is the formula and for this kv and the formula is again different for parabola input this is the formula for this we have the magnet constant value is the value like this for different different inputs it will be varied next types of the system how steady state error will depends on the different types of the system we should discuss so next topic is the type of types of the system types of the system for this purpose generally we should write a system is like this the system transfer function I will take like this g of, g of s into h of s generally this h of s is the feedback gain almost it is unity 1 that's why I will take like this no problem at all that is represents with the k into s tau 1 plus 1 s tau 2 plus 1 s tau 3 plus 1 and strengths to become zero and
by s power n 1 plus s tau a and 1 plus s tau b 1 plus s tau 3 like this so here we have some idea again we, we will discuss some points regarding the transfer function here k is better to write below first k is the dc gain k is nothing but the dc gain that means whenever dc gain means whenever frequency becomes zero frequency means j omega become zero j omega s become zero these all become one 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 and it will have the gain is okay what is this n represents s power n n is nothing but type of the system n is it will represent which type type of the system and you know that these s tau 1 s these three are the zeros of the system and these three are the poles of the system okay these are the poles and these are the zeros so better to write for your understanding purpose these three are the zeros the numerator s terms will called as the zeros and these three are the poles of the system poles of the system so now we will discuss how it behaves how it behaves we should discuss so here for example if we are giving just assume that we should give the we should take the first point in this first point is for example we are giving the unit step signal to the a system the system consisting of the transfer function is for example 1 by s is the transfer function and how we will find out the steady state error we will have some output like this so for this system we should find out the steady state error so for this purpose so for the unit step system the steady state error formula is you know that the steady state error formula is a by 1 plus kp okay what is the kp here kp is limit s tends to 0 1 by s then 1 by s means if you apply s tends to 0 here it become 1 by 0 1 by 0 means 1 by infinity then the steady state error value equaled a by 1 plus infinite then it become zero so by doing this by doing this so finally we are getting the steady state error is zero we are getting finally the steady state error is zero so if you observe here in the u of t there is no t there is no t means i can write like this t power zero t power zero is one one into u of t is nothing but generally u of t and here s power is 1 so for for input power input t power is less than steady state input s power then the error is 0 so I can write like this that is the input is input means t power type system type less than system type then the steady state error is become the zero right steady state is be error become the zero this is the one of the important point to understand the steady state error to understand the steady state error okay this is the first point so for the inputs inputs for this t less than so input is whenever the input power is less than type of the power type of the power means here type is always in terms of s you should take and input means in terms of time then the error become zero this is the first point 
regarding the types of the system okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you